guys, it's me, and clearly I am in Rosewood. But that was my attempt at trying to give you a glimpse of um what's by me. But um, so in this video, um, this is not the tour, so that's still being worked on. Um, but I think we're close um to what I want it to be for the tour, so we're getting there. Um, we're in the middle of, like, huge construction going on, um, which actually you can't see right now, um, because my computer's, like, right in front of us, where I actually added something big. Although you can kind of see, there is actually stuff here, rather than just there. So, you can kind of see a little bit of it, but, point is, this is an updated All My Kids, Barbie Kids, collection, um, because the first one I did, like, two years ago, almost. And so, I've since gotten a lot of kids, a lot of toddlers, and I'm hoping I got them all, because I think some of them may have fallen in the bin in there, but I looked not very, not very, um, well, but I looked. Um, so, um, I'll start with the kids in use, because I have them kind of laying out here. And I've also got some babies in their nursery that are not in use. So we'll eventually go and look at them. Um, so it's a kid and baby mashup because um, babies are kids too. <laughs> so yeah, um, we've got liars and parents' kids that are in use. And by parents, I mean Ella because Ella's the only one who's had a kid who has like a little kid at this um, point in time. None of the other parents have done anything like that. It's only Ella. <laughs> Go Ella! But, uh, yeah, anyway, so, okay. Um, where do I start? Okay, I'll just start here. Okay. This is Hannah's daughter, which is just a basic, whoops, happy family baby. And actually, she's in a bitty baby sock, which is, whoa, really ironic. Um, the bitty baby socks make really good, like, little swaddles. It's really funny how it works out like that. But, um, it does. It, it They do. They make really great swaddles. So, she is in here. Her name is Noelle. Um, his first daughter. And she's wearing a crocheted outfit I got off eBay. And, um, there's a matching hat, but, um, it's somewhere. And, um, yeah, I am going to do a detailed characters list, but, um, and probably an updated family video for the liars. But, um, we'll see. All right, um, here we go. We'll do her next. This is Spencer's daughter. There's a gigantic hair. This is <laughs> this is Spencer's daughter. Her name is Juliet after the Romeo and Juliet because Spencer's kids are Spencer's kids. Um, so I named them accordingly. So this is Juliet, and Toby is taking care of her because right now Spencer is. Actually, I shouldn't say. So I'll let you think about what what that means. <laughs> um. And last but certainly not least, this is Bentley, Emily's son. Um, crud, he's real. <laughs> it's like way too loose. Um, he's bald. He's not a happy family baby. The other two were um, happy family babies. He is not. He is a um, one of the knockoff family pregnancy babies. Um, but he's super cute. He's bald. He's so adorable. Anyway, it's um, Ben Coogan's biological child. But Maya and Emily are taking care of him as there as his mother. She's not wearing anything. He's just wearing the swaddle and he's got a little orange hat off. That's Bentley. All right. And then, um, we've got, okay, we'll take her. We've got Allison's daughter, who is her only daughter right now. Um, she's currently expecting again, but obviously this is not what, what it's going to be like in the show. That's just what I'm dealing with right now in my own personal version. Um, this is Briella. She's five months old. She's so super cute. Um, yeah, she's wearing um, a crocheted sweater from an eBay seller, and then she's wearing a crocheted dress from another eBay seller that is actually um, the same dress that Hannah's daughter's wearing, but in different colors. And there is a matching hat to this, but obviously she's not wearing it. Um, and she's got a cute rattle on her hand. And then this is actually baby Briella from when she was just born. Oh, jeez. And this will be used again. So um, she's still dressed. So she's got a hair wrap 
bow, whatever, but it's a rose and it's crocheted from an eBay seller. There's a matching dress over there somewhere. And then she's wearing a onesie that's so super cute and I love it with all my heart. And um, she had worn it with the um, sweater over top, but I clearly, the bigger Briella stole it. So that's what happened. So, yep. Okay. And then, actually, I need to go with Aria's kids first. But Aria's got three. That's why I was kind of like, I don't want to do Aria yet. This is Ari's oldest daughter, who's here. <laughs> like off to the side. This is Lily. She's my pride and joy, as well as Ari's pride and joy, obviously, because she's her daughter. But she's so super cute. What you see on her arm right now is a cast, because she fell off a teeter totter on the playground and broke her arm. <laughs> um, but she dressed herself, so she's wearing a princess dress and spine slippers, because that's Lily for you. She's Ari's kid. Um, <laughs> um, and Jason is her father. For those of you who don't remember, Jason and Ari are actually a thing. Um, and this is their daughter. And she's four now. So that's um Lily. Okay, and then this is the real reason why I didn't want to do Arya's kids. She's got twin boys after this. So they're both infants, obviously. Um and um first one is Hunter. He's blonde with blue eyes like Daddy. Or, well, Allison is the really only one with blue eyes in that family besides Bethany. He doesn't have his eyes, but that's besides the point. He's like his dad. And then this is Storm. He was born shortly after his brother, and uh, he is like his mommy with the dark hair and eyes and complexion and all that. So that is them. That is Arya's kids. Okay. Then we can go on to other people's kids. We've got Ella's daughter. Who is, um, her name is, I'm totally spacing. I keep wanting to call her Briella. <laughs> Briella Rose, which is not her name. It's all his daughter's name. Crap. Um, Phoenix Blaze. Thank you. Okay, so Ella's the queen of naming her kids odd names. You've got Michelangelo, Aria, who's just Aria. She doesn't have a second name. Um, and then we've got, um, uh, Croy Jagger, who just goes by Jagger, just like Mike just goes by Mike. Um, and then we've got Fe poor Phoenix Blaze. <laughs> she topped herself that time. I made sure that she topped herself. Um, so Phoenix Blaze, I really, really like it. It's really cool. Um, really different. Um, it totally reminds me of Ella. So she's like, eight months old? Oh, crap. I don't know how old she is. She's like seven or eight months old. Okay. And then we've got, Actually, you don't know this character. <gasps> okay, so this is a kid of actually two characters. You have no idea who they are, which is why I need to make my other video, but I will tell you their names anyway. So, this is Caden Asher. Although Asher is his middle name, so he's just Caden. Um, and uh, I think he's three months old. and Or he's almost three months old. And so then, he is the child of Tessa who is my original character, I made her up, and she's Arya's twin sister, so let's just again, I love twins, okay, I love multiples, I love twins, okay, she's Arya's twin sister, and they're pretty much, she's, she's actually right over there, um, you can't see her, but she's right over there, um, uh, in the A-layer, at the moment, so, um, yeah, uh, she's over there, and no, I didn't just give a spoiler, that's just the way she's, She's just over there. This is how she is. She's over there. I, I said nothing. Okay. This is Caden. He's like three months old. His father is thought to be Jason. That is probably going to stay Jason. But um, right now he is being said to be thought to be Jason's, but really to be Jason's twin brother's son. So. That is really messed up. So that's Caden. All right. And this is Sophia, who is Melissa and Ian Thomas's daughter, and Melissa's dead. So, yeah. That's, he's, he's, Ian's doing the whole single dad thing <laughs> with Sophia. Um, so yeah. And this, I love her helmet. I just can't even, I love her helmet. Okay, so this. Is the last of the actually named kids. Um, this is Paris, who is Jagger, Arya, and Mike's little brother, and Caroline. I almost called her mom her name, which is really weird. Um, and Caroline, who is 
Cece's younger sister, who I also made up, um, their daughter, and she's five, and her name's Paris, and she has a helmet on, because, like, her father, who was a, I, I can't tell you, if he trips over his own two feet, and he trips on flat ground, and he trips on air, so he's a klutz in every sort of the word, he's not, he's not stable at all, he, he falls off skateboards when they're not even moving, um, he falls downstairs and he walks through door um, into doors and into walls and he's that kind of dude and she's the same way. So, um, well, his her dad is like a skater boy. She likes to scooter and so she's wearing a helmet and her dad's actually over there wearing a helmet over there. He's wearing a teal helmet because teal's like his color. Um, stars on it and um, so they're wearing helmets and Caroline told them that they should wear it wear their helmets all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you fall all the time. So she's making them wear helmets all the time. So that they don't, like, hit their heads or something. <laughs> Which I, like, I literally, I can't get over that. It's too funny. Okay, so that's the end of the named kids. And all in all, it took me ten minutes. So, all right, now we're going to go through the pile of um random kids who I just have sitting here. And that aren't in use at the moment, but will be in use um eventually. Um, and I'm hoping I have them all, and I'm probably going to go through and be like, I'm missing someone, and I'm going to be very angry. So, let's just do this. All right. So, there's this chick. I don't know who she is or what she does, but I got her a yard sale. And she's wearing this dress. She's got a um, hairband around it. Um, I don't know why. She just does. She's got a lever on her back, and I believe, yeah, it makes her walk. And it's not working very well because the thing's in the way when I'm moving it. But, there we go. So she walks, Mommy! <laughs> so yeah, that's her. I don't know what she is at all. Okay, and, and a lot of these are naked, so caution. This is a princess, and I don't know, I think I have two of these somehow. Um, But I've got a princess, and she's really, she's actually really pretty. She just needs um, a brush, and maybe a shampoo and condition. And um, she's pretty, she's got a necklace. Oh, necklace. Hard to necklace. On a on neck. This, actually, um, is someone I've used a lot in the past, um, and she's, she's great. She's a island princess thing, island princess doll, and she came with a mini elephant, and it was super cool, and all the kids were like, I have an elephant, so yeah, it was, it was cool. All right, so this chick... I should give her a haircut, but I, I can't bring myself to do it because I I think I can make like epic braids with her hair, and I think that'd be go like like go so good with like these anime like eyes. Aren't those eyes like huge with like the pupil, and like they're just like huge and wide and big, and they just remind me of anime eyes. And the hair you could just like put it into braids, and I just haven't had the heart to cut it. Um, so this is she. I don't know who she is. Got her a yard sale. Okay. Then my friend, when she merged her stuff with mine at my house, um, there's this princess chick. She's, a, I think she's just one of the twelve Disney princess kids, if I'm not mistaken. She's wearing her original dress too. She's got ballerina shoes on her feet. So yeah. This actually is like my first ever Kelly. Like I'm not even joking. This I remember her. She's a swim club. Kelly, like, I think something like that, she had a, um, white, I mean, white, she had a yellow bathing suit, and had, like, orange ruffle around the middle, and it was a one piece, and, um, she had her hair in pigtails, I believe, and she was marketed as Kelly Club, I believe, but she's wearing one of my also original first ever Kelly dresses that I've ever had, and just, you know, sneakers, she's super cute, I have her hair in a ponytail, um, obviously, you can see her hair is, like, frizzed and come out and all that. I need to redo her ponytail because it's just a mess, but yeah. Alright. Oh god. Her hair. A lot of these need hair treatment. This is um little brat's Alani, I think you pronounce her name. Um she's wearing her original clothes. I never really had many of the little brats. I think I had like two or three. Yeah, two or three. Um, and they also had a boy. I think they had two or three girls and then a boy. Um, and so, she's wearing her original clothes and shoes. And she came with the party bus, I'm going to call it. I don't know if that's, that's the right name, probably, is it? 
whoa your hair's also like gone like really haywire so oh boy all right so this is one of my original dresses too it's got a huge stain here but obviously it's still in use because we've got too many kellys um and we've got cute little mary jane and she's super cute but she her thing i think this is her yeah she's got like this like thing in the middle you can't see obviously and oh they kind of move around dance torso twirl <laughs> so yeah that's her i've also got some um brat kids that I have acquired from yard sales, and I don't know which ones they are. They're just here, and they're after us. So here's a Chloe, and her hair has had um, streaks put into it. So not too bad. The, whoopsie, you've got stuff stuck to your thing. And I actually wanted to redo your braids, but I haven't had the heart to do it. Um, I need to. I should. This is a very old Stacy. I believe, and I've had her for forever, and I finally recently um, figured out what Stacy she was. I knew she was a skateboarding thing, because I remember the skateboard that you had, it had pegs, and you put in your feet, and she actually skateboarded. Um, I actually found it recently, and I need to get a new body for her, because her leg is broken. Either um, I need a new body for her, or um, I need a wheelchair, and she's dressed in brass clothes, and I think she looks super cute, because I lost a lot of her original pieces. And her hair clearly needs to be redone. It, I mean, it's not like, it's not really broken or anything. It's just a lot of the bright pieces have come out. We've got a lot of frizz. So it just needs to be redone. Um, I just haven't had the heart to do it. So, yeah. This is like the one brass kid that I actually bought um, at a store. And I remember who she is. She's wearing her original shoes and um, pants, but the top is something that I put on her myself. This is Brad's sleepover, Brad's kid sleepover adventure Chloe. Her hair is so awesome. Like literally. And her eyes are beautiful too. That bluish greenish color. And I actually did put different studs in her ears. I forget what stud she was wearing. I don't even know if she was wearing studs at one point. I don't remember. Okay. This is another Kelly that I've gotten at a yard sale. And she looks just like my other Kelly that I've had for forever. The only difference is obviously first of all she's newer and her this mine mine's lips are peeling off and her lips are like more pink while mine were more peachy and her eyes um have like um little flecks in them while this other one just has pupils hers are more innocent looking and then she's got like a red actual pupil in there so when back when we would do twilight um she kind of was jane <laughs> Which is funny. Alright. This, whoa! <laughs> he's like trying to commit suicide. This is Ryan from Happy Family, and yes, he's had his arm chewed, but not off. He's still living. He's still living among us. And then, and these are the Soda Pop Girls. Um, this is Susie Strabella, I believe her name was, and I don't know where her dress went. But she's naked. And they've molded on shoes, little heel wedge things that are different colors according, like, who they are and stuff. And I love her eyes and her lips. They're so pretty. And her hair is such a pretty color, too. And I actually um, took her hair out, and I um, shampooed and conditioned it, and I cut all the raw ends off, and we were left with this. So um, it's still kind of unshaped from being in ponytails and a mess this whole time. But you know what? It's, it's, it's doable. And her hair still smells delicious. Alright, and then we've got another random Chloe that I got at a yard sale. She had her front braids colored. I don't know who she is at all. She's just there. She's existent. Alright, this is... I don't remember where I got this one from. This is a Bratz... A Bratz... A Barbie Chelsea. She's wearing that same dress that, that first Kelly I showed you was from the yard sale. Except the... Whoops! The flower came off. See, the flower was on here, but it came off. So, yeah. And she's wearing just pink sneakers. So, that's what she doing. And I braid her hair. It's so gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? I do really pretty braid. So gorgeous. That doesn't give it justice. Okay. Here's another Chelsea. And she has, like, a hair sticking up. Like, oh, well. Cute, yeah. Um, I took the, sun the glasses out of her hair. I mean, I actually recently painted those. They're in the drawer. Um, and this is the one from the... I think it was 2011 pediatric set that came with. Let's see if I can pick it up. 
this table. So, yeah, the accessories are in the drawer. She had pink glasses, but I painted them brown so they could use for the boys, too. And I need a scale because the scale part of this didn't come with my eBay purchase, but that's where that came from. Hang on a second while I put this back in my hospital because it's kind of an important piece of my hospital. There we go. All right. We are back in this way. But what's really cool about this specific one is, um, she grows. Um, oh, this is one of my favorites. In my last video, someone said that she was not, um, an official Kelly and she was a knockoff. I will prove to you. She's not. I doubt that it's going to show up. Oh my god, I think you can actually see that. You can barely read that. But it says 1994 Mattel Incorporation and China in a copyright symbol. She was marketed in the early to mid 2000s and she was a um, uh, tooth doll, whatever. You can clearly see she's missing a tooth. She was my favorite Kelly for like years and years and years and years. And she's still really cool. You put warm water, I think, to make the, teeth, the tooth come back. And obviously I wanted the tooth out <laughs> every time, so I never really touched it. But she's she's super cool. I did lots of cool hairstyles with her, which is why her hair, her hair is kind of a mess. But um, she's really cool. She has big anime like, eye, like eyes, too. I think it might have been 2005 or 2006 when she was around. I have no idea. Um, This is the other 12 Disney Princesses kid her dress is in lily's closet i actually think um if it's not then it's in the drawer um but her arms move like that and uh she's got little ballet slippers on her feet so, yeah oh, this is another chelsea who's really gorgeous i actually just acquired her she's my probably i think she's my newest chelsea she's clearly naked because there's a lot of clothes um but she's these adorable little pigtails and all curly and obviously they're a little messy so i have to, I have to fix them but they're so so cute she is the, I think she was the first edition sister's pack from 2011 with Skipper. Skipper's in my closet over there. I didn't bring her because I'm not counting the teenagers. Um, so, yeah. But she's also got her original shoes on because they're kind of big for the Kellys. So, we've got little hearts on them. Mary Jean. Hot pink. Really cute. Oh, we've got a brat's head. Okay, that was kind of shocking. All right. Disclosure, there are heads in the bin. Okay. Oh, boy. Her hair is a mess. This is Carrie. Oh, crap. I can't remember her last name for the life of me, but she's Carrie. Um, I remember her first name. She's really pretty facial screening. She's another soda pop girl, and she's got her dress, her original dress, and she's got her little matching shoes. She's very cute. Her hair's a mess. Because they've done so much with it. All right, and then we got the Raggedy Ann Kelly, who's still in her original clothes, and she came from me on sale, so I don't have the um, Tommy version. I just have the Kelly version, because you can tell it's the Kelly, because she's wearing a dress. It's super cute. So, yeah, Halloween purposes. Then we got another Tommy, who's, like, half-dressed. <laughs> I don't have any shoes on him either. He's just got a shirt. Um, and he has, like, literally white blonde hair, and uh, he's cute. He has... um. A lever on the back of his back. I mean, you waving. He's waving. Hi, guys. Hi, YouTube. So, yeah. That's him. I don't know which one he is. I can tell you for life of me. This is also um one of the first colors I remember having. This, her hair is gone. <laughs> but um, this is the 2003, I believe, Kelly Club. Bride Kelly. I lost her dress. And her shoes. Oh, well, I actually might still have the shoes. I don't know. Or at least one of the shoes. But her eyes are purple. And she was so gorgeous. She's just so pretty. I love her so much. If I could get another one, I totally would. But I probably wouldn't pay for it because I'm cheap. I'm just kidding. I'm not cheap. Um, but when it comes to certain things, I am cheap. Um, so that wouldn't happen. But she's so pretty. So, yeah. This girl came from a yard sale, but I dressed her because she's too cute not to. I put her hair in a little side pony. She, she had clipped bangs, so I put them in a clip. I don't know where these clips even came from. I think they're Polly Pocket something or other. She's wearing this dress, and um, it was also too big, so we tied an elastic around it. 
And she's also a walking Kelly. Whee! And she's wearing um, purple Mary Janes that are metallic. They shine. They were from the um, other brunette who looks a lot like her. And actually, where's the other one? I think they're from the same line. Cause they have the same facial straining and shape. It's just different eye color, lip color, and skin color, and hair color, and eyebrow color. That's weird. They're so from the same line. That's the, I didn't even notice that until just now. That's cool. That's really cool. Right. That's where the other kids' pants went. What am I going to do? All right. This is another one of my very first Kellys. This is a Swan Lake. She was a fairy. Um, Kelly. And she's so she's so gorgeous. She was my, one of my favorites for a very, very long time. I think she came out in 2004, 2003. Or 2002. Whenever the line came out. She's so beautiful. Very beautiful screening. Super pretty. Her hair was always in a ponytail. It came in a ponytail. So it's pretty much permanently molded to that ponytail. Yep. All right. This. Oh, crap. I can't remember her name. I remembered it before, but now I don't. She had to have been my favorite. Um, so pop girl. Her outfit is currently in use. Actually, this was part of her leotard. You can kind of see the resemblance. It's kind of scrunched up. <laughs> it worked better in the baby. Um, she also had a skirt. And I put the skirt in the drawer over there. So, yeah! But, um, she, whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, she's got pink streaks. And I actually, she actually had it in, like, these two pigtails with, like, hair wrapped around it. I took that out. I brushed it. I shampooed it and conditioned it. And I put her hair up in a ponytail. So, here we are. I refurbished her. And she looks good. So, all right, um, and then we've got a Bratz Kids Jade. I don't know what kind she is, but she has this really cool hairstyle. I don't know where she's from. I wish I did. All right. I oh my god, I thought you weren't you wouldn't they wouldn't be in here for some stupid reason. All right. So you guys might remember way back when when I had like that lot of like four Happy Family toddlers, and they came with Grandpa. And a midge. Um, and everybody was kind of worse for wear. All my toddlers are here at the bottom. Along with all my, like, um, what's it called? Um, all my, um, Chrissy size babies are all at the bottom because I collect them too. And a couple, Nick, you know, like all my, like, toddlers and, like, Oh my god, it's crazy. Alright, I have like two bigger sized, no, four more bigger sized dolls that I'm going to show you, and then we're going to go to toddlers, because that's what's left after that. And then we have a couple babies over there. So, this is, I think, a Katia, actually. This, that's just a guess. I have no idea. She came with the art sale, and she's wearing a really cute shirt. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we've got this Madame Alexander, he was a McDonald's toy, um, boy with, um, a top head and a completely plastic form and his eyes open and shut, like American Girl dolls do, but I don't think I can show you with his eyes shut, because he's just like, I'm not going to have my eyes shut in front of you, so I'm going to try to, like, lean him towards you guys so you can see. Oh, there you go. Okay. I got his tux off. Let's tuck the jacket off, because, um, it was bothering me. Yeah, that is me. <laughs> um, but yeah, just had to take him off, much to my, dis my annoyance. Um, so, he's just kind of a filler kid, if I ever need a filler kid. He's, he's for show. Alright, then we've got two more Tommies. Here's another one, he's a princess, he's a pr princess Tommy! Ha ha! No, he's a prince Tommy. Um, and I cut his pants so they are short. So, yes, that is why they are short and fraying. And then we've got this Tommy, and uh, he's dressed in this outfit. And where's the other Ryan? That one Ryan. Okay, here he is. Actually, oh, here we do have a couple more. Okay, okay, we've got this. All right, we're, we're, we're golden. We're gold. Okay, we're good. These guys are twins. These are going to be Storm and Hunter when they're full grown. 
that's why they're dressed identically like that. Although the, the sneakers are different. So, yup, that's that. All right, and then this is actually going to be Phoenix Blaze when she's older. This is the kid that came with the knockoff um, Barbie pregnant family set or whatever. These are Kelly's shoes because the shoes that came with her are kind of big. These, this is actually a brass skirt tied with a rubber band and a Kelly shirt. And she looks so adorable! Anyway, then roll over. And then we've got this kid who unfortunately lost his foot to my dog, Buddy, back in the day. So he has a little tykes wheelchair that um, sometimes he shares with some of the other toddlers who have lost their feet. Um, which is really, really sad. <laughs> um, but it works, you know? It works. So, um, I'm trying to do this with some kind of, like, order, and I'm already, like, 30 minutes into this, so I should probably hurry up. Uh, okay, let's, let's separate the toddlers, and I don't know where that toddler went. Actually, she's, oh, you know what? She's been missing for a while, I remember now. Just like those other two toddlers have been missing for a while now, and I think that's the main reason I, I postponed doing this video. You know what? Oh, well. All right, and we've got you guys. You move you and you and you go over here and you go over here. All right. I'm going to go with the knockoff toddlers first that I have had for forever. So this was my friend's who I'm not really too close to anymore. This is actually AN's, ironically. Um, I think she still has the strawberry, or at least she used to have the strawberry. Um, I have Sugar Blossom. No, this is not Sugar Blossom. I don't remember her. I don't remember their names. I have her. And she sits. She stands. That's all she does. <laughs> She's great. All right. So, this is the other little toddler I have that I would probably never use unless, like, worst came to worst. Um, this is a Sophia the First, um, like, mini, I want to say. She has a magnet on the bottom that I've not taken the thingy off. A little sticker on the bottom off of the protective sticker or whatever off of. Um, she goes to this like special castle or whatever. All the animals that came with her are over there in the park. Um, and uh, her arms move. And uh, she she sits, she stands. She doesn't really have any feet. And um, she's here. And my my cousin actually has the same one. And my great aunt gave us these both to us at her family reunion in September of 2014, which was. Almost a year ago, which is pretty ironic. So, that's that. Now, I'm going to show you all my um, Chrissies, since I have less of them than I do toddlers. Because I have, um, sitting here in front of me, eight toddlers, and I have six Chrissies. So, that's how we're doing this. And I actually have three more toddlers that are missing. And I will tell you which ones they are, and I will describe them at the end. Um, I, actually, I already actually showed you one of them. Two of them, actually. So, I technically have ten toddlers sitting here, but I already showed you two. We'll go back to them. And I have another Chrissy doll that I already showed you. So, we have seven Chrissies. Anyway. All right. And this one I got in the... Oh, yeah. And I got two Chrissies in the hall, too, with the four toddlers. So, this is the Chrissy. She had, like, no problems with her at all. Her facial screening's perfect. Her hair didn't have any problems. Her body's great. So, she is more the more feminine blonde um, actual Chrissy that I have. And then this is my other Chrissy that I have. This is the 1999 Walking Chrissy. I don't know which one is this for the life of me because she came in a lot that was used. And he is typically, she, I called him he because he's always used as a boy. Um, just because he looks more, you know. I mean, come on. How masculine can you get? His eyes are, like, softer. His lips are softer and not pink. So, he doesn't have as much eyelashes, so he's a boy. And he's dressed as a boy, too. So that's how it happens. And then this is the newer, one of the newer Chrissy. She is wearing a brat's shirt, and she has a bow, and she has a hole in her mouth for the bottle that what's, you know. And she has a, di a pink diaper on. She is, uh, I think, 2014 babysitter Barbie, and she came with all the pink furniture in that Barbie. So, that's her. Then we also have the 2012, I believe, babysitter one, who does not have a bow, and, um, 
their lip color is slightly different. Hers is more peachy. And her hair color, her hair is lighter blonde, just slightly, than this one. This one looks more masculine to me, just because. I mean, come on. Um, and um, he came with a white diaper, and his white diaper is actually, I believe, on Phoenix. Let me check. For checking. Yes, it's on Phoenix. I was right. Um, so yeah, that's whoopsie. That's him. Um, 2012 care. Um, Barbie, I could be caregiver, I guess. 2012, it had the blue and purple set rather than the blue and red or in pink or whatever you want to call the other color. Controversy. <laughs> um, and then this is another Chrissy. This one I've had for forever. Um, this is, um, this came with like a Barbie and Chrissy princess set or whatever, and they had matching princess gowns, and she actually had long hair, but um, clearly we cut it because um, the hair just looked really freaky. Um, and uh, this is typically, this actually goes as either a boy or a girl. Um, it's probably been used evenly either way. Um, so he's this one's kind of a unisex baby. Um, it can go either way. So, yeah, I've had this for forever. And actually, Phoenix Blaze, I'm going to bring back for a second, is um, one of the rare um, 2000 coming home babies. And this is a Chinese one. And actually, Hunter is wearing the outfit that he came in. It was the only boy, because I had wanted a boy-looking one. And so I paid the extra money to get him. And, and it, ironically, now it's used as a girl more often than it is as a dude. Yeah, that's funny. His, his outfit's used all the time, though. And the last, but certainly not least, is this last one that is also the other one that came in the Happy Family lot that I got a couple months ago. And his hair was a mess, and the facial paint was also a mess. So we've given eyebrows, and we've repainted the hair, and we tried repainting the lips, but it just didn't turn out right, so we took most of it out. And um, it turned out like this. It is definitely a boy baby. And um, I think he's really, he's, he's pretty cute, considering what happened. And most of his eyelashes are gone, too. He looks kind of freaky, but he also is kind of cute. So, yep, that's that. So, we have seven Chrissies, and that is all of them. None of them are missing. Okay, now we're going back to the toddlers, and really quickly, and bringing the ones that I already showed you in the very beginning, which is Li Lily. This is Lily, in the pink, with the, with the braids, and the cast, and the bunny slippers. And then this is Sophia. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, now, all right. There we go. We've got a bunch of toddlers. We've got a basic Nikki, who's wearing a really adorable Kelly dress. Look how cute she is. She has such a sweet face. And this Kelly, who actually had, uh, Kelly, Nikki, who also has a very, who actually has a really identical face to this one, is her twin brother, who is going to get dark hair to look like his father. These are going to be Ali and Mike's twins that aren't born yet, when they're all grown up. And then, I've had this ke Nikki for a really long time, too. Her feet, unfortunately, got cho chewed off by my dog, Betty. Love you, bud. Um, uh, but, um, so, sometimes she shares the wheelchair that the other kid is using right now. So, yep. And then, we've got this kid. And this is going to be Bentley when he's fully grown. No, not Bentley when he's fully grown. Um, Emily's second son, Jace, when he's fully grown. So, there we go. And then we've got a second one of him in the um, lot. And the only real difference is you can kind of see a difference in the paint in the back. Because, oh, you can't really see it because my head's... Because the, because the lighting. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it now. His is more shiny because, you know, I got him new and nothing's really happened to him. And then this guy, we actually had to repaint the back because part of it was lost. So his is more matte in the back. Um, but other than that, they're the same. So, yeah. And then I'm going to bring, oh, wait, we need to bring her over. This is what, this is the one that came in the lot. And, um, I think most of the hair was already gone, if it wasn't gone already. Um, and so, uh, we repainted it, because obviously the hair was a mess. And so, now it is either a short hair girl or a boy, um, 
Yeah. And we got that. If the A can go back. Lily, now I need you. <laughs> so we got another of Lily. The hair was a mess, so I ripped it all out and it became a dude. And we repainted the head. What? I'm filming something. I'll call him back in a few minutes. Sorry. Um, so then um we have his head and he's he's really good looking. So they could pull off his be pulled off his twins easily. Okay. And then we've got a third one that comes with the picture. This is actually a Nikki. I'm just warning you, it's kind of scary. Okay. The face on this Nikki, which originally looked somewhat like this. This one. Um, the hair was a mess, so I first of all I ripped it out. Second of all, um, the hair, you know, paint was a mess, so that got painted over. And third of all, um, poor, poor Nikki's face, um, was discolored. I don't know what happened. I think maybe she was set in the sun for too long. Something happened. Something went wrong. So my friend tried to fix it being the good friend she is and actually it doesn't look too bad she was given new hair obviously new eyebrows and actually she painted over her skin and obviously now it's a dude <laughs> um or a really short haired girl um we may or may not try to root something on top i doubt though so technically they could be triplets <laughs> the lips are just and eyes are different on this one and the skin is slightly different because of, you know, the incident, I'm going to call it. So, yep. And so, that is all the toddlers we have here. But that's, but I'm going to actually fan them out. Because literally, it's incredible how many toddlers I've gotten. And for now, I think I'm finally satisfied. Because you guys know that I, like, collect toddlers. So, at this point, I think I'm finally satisfied. Especially considering I have three more that are missing. I have ten toddlers, okay? I have ten, and there I have like an even amount, pretty much, of boys and girls. And um, the three that are missing are all girls. And we've got let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six boys and four girls right here. So we have three girls who are missing. So if they were to be brought back, then we'd have seven girls and six boys. So it would be pretty even. Um, so I have thirteen toddlers total. Um, with this particular size, and um, the three that are missing are the two plastic ones with the plastic hair, the thinner bodies or whatever, from the 2011, I want to say, 2011-2010 preschool set, and it came with the little, um, plastic, um, the plastic, um, snack table that flipped, and it was also an extra craft table, and it was like a white, pinkish, reddish, magenta-ish color, um, and then it came with the plastic, um, playground, um, and there's a boy toddler pictured cardboard. It was sliding down, sliding down. I was like, I wish you made that, you fools. Because <laughs> uh, I'm obsessed with boys, especially because, you know, you have to make them. Um, but, um, I have both those girls, the blonde one and, with the light skin and blue eyes, and then the brunette one with the darker skin and the brown eyes, and they're both wearing their original clothes. And I don't believe they're wearing any shoes. But they are both missing from a prior, prior project from, like, I want to say maybe even a year ago at this point. And with them is the really rare, which really makes me angry, a, I was about to say Bratz or Barbie, which is wrong. But Happy Family Nikki, the supermarket one from 2003, okay? That's the one that had the cookie. In the messy face, and you put the water on the messy face, and it changed, okay? And, like, it was a different facial screening, and, um, I, I'm so furious that I managed to lose her, because she has been a monumental character in lots of different series, and I would love to bring her back, um, as a different person's kid, um, I actually think she was supposed to be Miranda, Hannah's daughter. Um, so the fact that she's now missing really angers me. Granted, Buddy, ironically, my knee is here. 
he chewed off one of her legs to the knee. So she was known to use the wheelchair. Um, and she's just, I had, uh, um, I still have it in the drawer, I think. I think it, that didn't go missing with her, although it might have. I don't remember. There was a white sneaker, too, that came with her. I lost the other one, and which also makes me really furious, considering how rare they are. Um, and uh, the single sneaker works perfectly with the fact that she only has one foot to wear a shoe on. So. She is also missing. Um, so three toddlers missing. And it makes me so angry. And the snack table is actually missing with them. So that also makes me very angry. Because I want that snack table. So. Hopefully I find them. And we can reunite. My toddlers. And we can have. We're working on a monumental. Ending to this here you guys. And I'm not doing a good job. This isn't working. <laughs> not at all. Nope. Not at all. This just is not doing it. This is not, this is not doing it. Okay, here we go. We got, uh-oh. Don't you dare lose your shoe. Don't you dare. It's going to roll over. And we're picking you up. Yeah. All of the 13 toddlers will be reunited. Hopefully. We're now got 10. Because three of them are missing. Which hurts. Because that's a quarter of my toddlers. Which I love. So, until we get them back, um, I will be very sad. I don't know where they are. They are either at my mom's house or my dad's house. There's no doubt about that fact. But I don't know where. They're just somewhere and I don't know where. And I've had several attempts to, of looking for them. And I had an idea of where they would be, and I looked multiple times in the spots, and now I forget a lot of those spots. So, I have no idea. I don't know where they are. And um, I hope they turn up, because I miss them. I need them for characters in the future. So, hopefully they show up. And actually, I need to make sure I'm not putting away somebody by accident that does not mean to get put away. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. We did it! So, I hope you guys enjoyed that extremely long update on kids that I went in detail for. Um, it was fun to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, um, we will, um, hopefully be coming back to Rosewood again for, um, my full um, my full character reveal, or I guess update, it's not really a reveal, <laughs> because you guys pretty much know everybody, so, oh wait, no, we do not want Lily and Sophia to go back in the bin, that would be bad, okay, I knew something bad was going to happen, all right, we're doing this really badly, but we're doing it, oh my god, we're not done, we still have a lot of babies in the nursery, we have to do it, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about them. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay. So, now, with that being said, I need to go back and grab the babies. I, I, there's not many of them. From the nursery. Um, here. Um, here, babies. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't you dare. Get out. Okay. Alright. We are back with the babies from the nursery. Here, whoops, we should put you back in here for your, okay. we're going to try to do this quickly because this is long. All right, we've got this baby who is blonde hair, blue eyes, and a little adorable pink rattle that is falling, and she's in a white sock. And then we've got this baby that is actually clothed, and she's got a pink hat, a pink little swaddle that came with the um, 2014 babysitting set. You guys probably recognize it from my review. Um, And a... um. Another crocheted outfit that I got off eBay. And the hat I also have. It's over there. But I need to fix it because the googly eye on it fell off. Um, pretty much right after I got it. And I've never fixed it. Which is really stupid. But I haven't. And Briella. Big Briella. 
is actually wearing the dress that this kid was wearing. Um, but you guys probably remember this dude. So, it became a girl. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, there's another blonde hair, blue eyed baby that has a boy Polly Pocket top. Because we ran out of clothes. And, um, there's two pairs on that. We've got a non-clothed baby boy in a purple and white jingham um, bottle that I put together. It has a little red um, rattle. So, that is not allowed. You can't do that. That's against the rules. You ready now? Okay, here we go. If you can. Here is what has to be the most adorable little thing. <laughs> um, she's going to end up being Emily's last daughter. Well, last child. <laughs> um, and her name's going to be Violet. Um, an ode to the books. Emily had a baby named Violet in the books, so that's what this is. And she's so cute. Look at that face! It's so cute! <laughs> and her hand is actually able to hold the rattle, which is the cutest thing in the whole wide world. And she is actually wearing an outfit. She's wearing the other bitty baby sock. She's wearing a little onesie. So cute. So cute. Okay, put you back in your little bottle. Alright. And last baby. Whoops. Okay. Oh wait, we have two more babies. I'm I'm showing you guys them together. Okay, so first of all, we've got a incubator, which is so unbelievably cool to have for the Hospital, nursery. Inside is a teeny tiny little preemie baby. And I don't know what kind of preemie baby, I don't know what kind of baby this is. Um, I got this from a yard sale. This incubator is from eBay, and I don't know who made it. Um, I haven't found anything like it, so I bought it. Because <laughs> I wanted it. Um, but, um, the incubator itself, get up, came with this little rescue EMT chick. She's kind of a playmobile. Lego kind of person. Her legs and hands and hair come off, so yeah. She works in the hospital nursery. This baby who I keep in the incubator, um, is wearing this little swaddle. She isn't wearing anything underneath. And she's a little diaper. She sits, she stands, and her arms move. Um, and her head obviously moves too. Um, she's got little brown hair with a little pink bow. And then her twin brother um, is kept in this little single baby booty from one of my old baby dolls. And it works as a swaddle. And then he's wearing an outfit from um, um, eBay. One of the crocheters from eBay. And he's wearing the matching hat. Because underneath there is a blue bow. So if you wanted to do a flashback with like Courtney and Allison's babies, for example, there you go. You've got the the pink and the blue and the identical and the preemie. They are smaller than normal Happy Family babies, which is why I'm calling them preemie. See how they kind of size smaller than the Happy Family babies do? It's very interesting. Um, the thing is, I also kind of want to keep the hat on for this reason too. Wearing the hat, um, the blue from the the yarn or whatever you used um kind of dyed the head so um no matter what um they're either gonna have a blue head or they're gonna have to wear a hat so um he's been wearing the hat <laughs> um which is really cute anyway um so i don't know wh who made them i don't know who they're by um the boy is the same like posability as the girl does and he has the same diaper underneath his little romper that an eBay seller made. Um, and actually, the girl has had stuff rub off on her, too. See, she has blue feet and blue in, like, her diaper. And he also has blue on his feet. So, I don't know. I don't know if these guys are more susceptible to it. Um, she doesn't really have any real things on the back of her head, so... She's also been in pink, um, 
so that might have something to do with it, but I don't know. Um, all the same, I don't know who made them. They came in a bulk yard sale. I don't know, like, what, what company manufactures them. I just know that I have the two of them, and I am very happy I do, because they're really cool to be able to have, like, the preemie babies, um, on site in the hospital over there. And one last thing, there's a little bit too many times on us for watching almost an hour of me talking, and this little baby. I found this at the park, at the playground of my elementary school, and um, I don't know whose it was, but I found it, and I picked it up, and I took it, because it kind of was abandoned. And it's a teeny tiny, you can see how little it is, it's like smaller, than, it's like as small as my fingertips, you can see how small it is. And it's a teeny tiny white painted diaper, and you can see the molded ears, and you can see a little molded curl on the top of its head, just, yeah, there you go, you can see it better there. And it's clearly sitting there, and it's kind of like smiling, and um, the back of its diaper is rubbed off from play. Um, and whoopsie. If, we, if you're not careful, you drop them and lose them again, so you kind of have to watch. Um, but he does not have a face. And I keep it on a little shelf in there for, like, miscarried or aborted babies. So then you have this teeny tiny little baby that should have been this big. Or maybe even this big. If they got lucky. But instead, it um, died very little, so um, got a little aborted baby. <laughs> so twisted. Um, but that's that's it. That's it. That's what I have. I mean, I have a little aborted baby, and it's really crazy how I have all these different sized kids, um, and they literally vary from before they even should be born. Like I just showed you, we've got preemies, we've got newborns, we've got um, like six month old size, we've got the um one year old size, we've got the two to three year old size, we've got the five four to five year old size. Like literally I just have everything. Um in terms of the kids. And then I have the older kids with the um soda pops and the Chelsea's and the breast kids and the Stacy with the broken leg and then it goes into the teens. Um I would love to get a Todd at some point too, who is like that little that bigger Stacy's size and I would love to get more of those daisies they're super cool um but um I am very very satisfied with my kids um and I can't believe it's just been an hour talking about them um but I mean it's very it's very rewarding to have as many kids as I have and last time I got a lot of crap for being so quick with them being rough with them tossing them off to the side um acting like I wasn't grateful for what I have. And I want to say right here and now that I am so unbelievably grateful to have been able to amass, amass all of these kids. And not just the kids, but everything in this room. From every little baby to every full-size doll, to every piece of furniture, to every accessory, to every piece of clothing, to every shoe, to every house. Every single teeny tiny little thing, every teeny tiny little stud that comes in these brats' ears, every single, I almost lost it, every single teeny tiny little stud I am beyond grateful for. And I have collected this over my entire life of 18 years, um, starting around the time maybe I was three, maybe younger with some of these Barbies, maybe like two. Um, and I'm so grateful, and, um, some of this, I don't know how much of it, but some of it I bought with my own money, some of it I've been given to as gifts from relatives for birthdays or holidays, um, others I have been, you know, you know, kids get taken to the toy store, they get to pick a toy or whatever, some of that, some of that, some of it's yard sales, some of it's hand-me-downs from friends who have grown out of stuff and they've given it to me because I still use it. And I don't take any of it for granted at all. Same with all that stuff in the AG room. Some of it's been gifts. Some of it's been stuff that I bought with my own money. Some of it's been trips there and I get treated or whatever. 
every single teeny tiny thing I am beyond grateful for and I love with every single cell, molecule, second of my life. I love it with all my heart and everything I have. I love it and I'm so grateful for everything that I've ever been able to have and that I ever will have in my life. And I am not a spoiled brat at all, contrary to what some people tend to say. Um, sometimes I, I hear I, you know, I'm ungrateful or whatever. Um, but I mean, I know that those people don't know the backstory. They don't know the real me. Um, so, um, that's just where I'm coming from. I wanted to say that at the end of this video because last time I got a lot of stuff, a lot of bad stuff for it. So, um, this time I wanted to come out and say it. I'm beyond thankful for everything that I have ever gotten or that I ever will get in the future with my dolls or anything at all. This necklace. I'm thankful for this necklace. I love this necklace. And I got it, like, two weeks ago. I'm so thankful. And I've worn it a lot. And I love wearing it. It's very awesome. So, I I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for everything that I've ever gotten. And I'm not a spoiled brat in the slightest. And if you knew me, then you would know that I'm not. And that's not who I am. And you don't know my backstory. You don't know my life. So... My true friends know who I really am and what I'm really about and what I'm really like. So I try not to take the haters um, personally and stuff, but I feel the need to say that um, when I really shouldn't, but I do. So I do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my hour and one minute long kid update. I, I can't even believe it. So I'm going to go. I hope you enjoy hearing me talk ramble be excited and all of that beautiful stuff and um you guys will hear from me again soon so i love you guys and i will talk to you soon bye